Hey everybody, Mr. Glimba here, and just wanted to share a quick tech tip for students and parents, uh, just based on some of the issues that we might um, be having. So uh, first of all, what happens when your camera is blocked and you can't get into uh, your meeting? So uh, one of the uh, scenarios where we see this happening is in our Google Meets. So let's say your teacher opens up a Google Meet for you. Um, what you are supposed to do on this left-hand side says meet.google.com wants to use your microphone, use your camera. Um, you are supposed to click on allow, but what happens if you accidentally click block? Uh, then you won't be able to start um, your Google Meet uh, because you've blocked the camera and the microphone. So one of the best ways to do that, um, instead of it having asked you all the time, is to go up back up to um, this little lock button at the top left. And if you click on that lock button, you'll see um, some options uh, drop down for you. And it says camera right here. What you want to do is to change that from block to allow. If you change it to ask, then it's always going to ask you if you want to use that, which can be kind of annoying. So uh, go ahead and change it to allow, and then go ahead and change your microphone to allow. And as long as you do that, um, then you'll be fine. And then all you have to do to make sure that that um, actually takes place is you're going to click outside of this box. And then it says to apply your updated settings to this site, reload this page. So I'm going to reload this page. and my settings will be applied. So then it won't be asking you all the time if you want to allow the camera or the microphone, okay? So we're gonna take that same idea and we're gonna apply it somewhere else. So uh, sometimes you're gonna be using Schoology to sign in. And some of you, if you don't know your code, you will use your QR code. And this might pop up for you, scan QR code, it might say, hey, Schoology wants to use your camera. So um, again, make sure you click allow. But if for some reason you accidentally click block, you know what to do now. You're just gonna go up to that lock, click it, and then you're gonna look at the camera and change it to allow. Okay, you're gonna click outside of that box and then refresh one more time. And then anytime you want to log into Schoology, you can just use your QR code there. Okay. The last and final one, uh, you might see this in Seesaw. Okay. So let's say um, I wanted to add something in Seesaw. And I wanted to use a camera to do it. Okay. Say I wanted to take a picture. It's going to ask me that same question. It says Seesaw wants to use your camera. What happens if I accidentally click block? Oops, don't do that. But in case you do, um, you know exactly what to do now. You can click the icon, uh, the little lock button, go to camera, and then click on allow. Then you can reload that page. and you'll be able to use your camera. Ta -da. Hope that helps and um, hope you're able to unblock your camera um, if you got stuck. All right, thanks everybody.